I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 26th day of April. Hey, it's cool. In fact, uh, cooler than forecast today. Not even close in some cases to forecast highs. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Let's take a look out the window. That's the view coming from Mount Chihaw. Clouds are thickening with the uh, Vortmax in the upper uh, trough approaching Alabama, and temperatures are really struggling to get out of the low 60s in many areas. Uh, there's the Fayette Sky Cam up in uh, northwest Alabama. Overcast conditions there. They're sitting at 61 degrees at 2 o'clock. But it's warmer down in Demopolis, uh, the farthest south they go. Uh, they've got a partly sunny sky there. And by the way, a, uh, apparently a small tornado touchdown right there at that site. Saturday, our Sky Cam had a peak wind gust of 71 miles per hour. And... Uh, Quite a bit of damage right there at the uh, Demopolis City Landing, uh, right down the street a couple of blocks away. You know, there we go. Uh, you can see that uh, feature diving down through Omaha, coming down the base of the trough, and that will increase clouds and maybe, just maybe, squeeze out a shower or two tonight or tomorrow. And look at that. Coleman and Haleyville, they're not out of the 50s this afternoon. Uh, Birmingham and Gadsden at 61, and uh, Tuscaloosa a bit warmer at 66, so... Uh, we had talked about reaching 70 today. That's not happening. Got wind advisories for much of uh, Alabama. That's the Birmingham County warning area for uh, strong northwest winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour, making it feel cooler out there. Uh, convective outlook, we have one day with a, a severe weather risk, and that's day four, which is Thursday, a risk from uh, Abilene and Dallas-Fort Worth up to about Wichita and Kansas City. And Again, we'll take a look at modeling and see how that uh, pans out for this weekend here. And the QPF chart, rain for the next five days, valid through uh, Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. And the amounts taper off from east to west. Heavier totals on the western side, about one and a half inches there, with uh, only about a quarter inch near the Georgia border. Let's take a look at this. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Tuesday. Strong Vortmax coming right through north Alabama, so uh, cloudy, cool. Maybe a shower in spots, but certainly nothing widespread. And again, you know what? Up in Tennessee, I wouldn't be shocked if they had a few little uh, uh, hailstones, small hailstones coming out of rain showers with this thing tomorrow because the air loft is so cold. But Wednesday, we go sunny. High should be close to 70. Thursday, sunny and warmer. We'll be up there close to 80. Look at the pressure gradient wind out there over the Plain States. Out ahead of that cold front. Awfully windy out there. And then Friday, here we go again. Whopper of a trough over the west. And on this run, the I'll tell you now, the GFS places the axis of the really active weather a little north and west of here. Here's a look at the surface chart. Uh, the core surface low is 976 millibars. Wow. Up on the Canadian border. Secondary low is uh, uh, down there below St. Louis and Kansas City. And this is suggesting the rain during the day Friday stays a little west of here with potential for showers and strong storms over Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana. We'll just be warm and windy with uh, maybe a shower over far west Alabama. And then Saturday, it's going to be a, an interesting battle here between that warm 588 ridge over south Florida and the big trough out west. Uh, somewhere in there, there's going to be a stall front and some really heavy rain and some strong storms and all kind of problems. And uh, look at this. You can see the GFS wants to keep the really heavy stuff just north and west of here. Really, Nashville down to about uh, uh, Jackson. And if that's the case, Saturday could wind up being mostly dry for Birmingham and Point South. So it's a really challenging call here. And again, we're not confident enough one way or the other to really change our forecast that much. We'll mention a chance of showers and storms Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But it could very well be the bulk of the rain is north and west of where we are. And the same thing Sunday. This is really suggesting much of Alabama could be dry on Sunday with the main showers and storms north of the state. So confidence is low at this point in the weekend forecast. It could go either way. And then uh, Monday of next week, same deal. The, the, and again, understand somebody's going to get some flooding problems here. Uh, it looks like it might be, if this run is right, it could be Memphis and Louisville and Jackson and, and Shreveport. And then Tuesday of next week, the same deal. The ridge holds over Florida. Much of central and south Alabama is dry. More heavy rain just northwest of the state. So flooding could be a very real and serious issue. And again, there could be some strong and severe storms in there. But uh, on this run, it wants to kind of keep us out of it. And then on the 12th, look at the trough over the east. And what's funny, the, you know, the, the run we showed you early this morning had this big summer-like ridge 
with potential for 90s. Well, now we've got that trough, and that would suggest, look at the 540 line over us, and that would suggest we have a hard time getting out of the, the 40s or 50s that day. So needless to say, we call it model madness out there. But as always, we're just peeking. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.